So what's up? It's day two of Overland Expo West 2019. We are walking around talking to different recovery gear companies, finding about the about, about their products, and you know, just kind of enjoying the day. It's a much nicer day, much nicer weather. Welcome to Trail Spin TV. Hi, I'm Daniel from Dead Man Off Road. Um, we're here at Overland Expo. I swear this place gets bigger and bigger every year. Um, we made the Dead Man. We came to market about two years ago. Uh, we went through Kickstarter, so if you saw us on Kickstarter, thank you very much. What we created was a product that is a very versatile off-road recovery product, so you can use it in the ground. You can use it in sand, dirt, around rocks, around trees. We used it in snow just a couple weeks ago in the High Sierras. It weighs seven pounds, um, folds up into a bag that's about this big around and about that long, so it goes anywhere in the vehicle, and uh, just really is a multi-purpose uh, vehicle recovery anchor. So this is the dead man here. So we've got two versions right now where one, uh, our original yellow one, and then this one is now our ruggedized version in black. This black one has the same internal construction with the polyester webbing. These are 20,000 pound straps, but the difference with the ruggedized version is that it's been sleeved. So this, this is a nice cordura sleeving. This will basically protect it when you're using around rocks, around trees. Instead of abrading uh, the material that you're relying on for your strength, you're going to be able to uh, take up a little bit more, more beating there. So yeah, these are 15, 15 foot straps from end to end. You got two of them. So you can use this as a, as a massive tree strap. It goes upwards of uh, 65,000 pounds when you wrap it around a tree or around a rock. Um, yeah, it's, it's a, just an extremely versatile piece of kit. So yeah, you can bury this guy in the, in the dirt, right? So you just bury it um, about 18 to 24 inches deep in the sand. Usually works really well and then you kind of wrap all these, these things together and you can pull out with your winch. Wrap it around rocks like that. It creates a really strong um, and safe way to attach to a rock. It's not going to slip under the rock and get stuck or, or slip off the rock. Around trees, obviously, it's a really simple way to use it. Thanks, man. Appreciate your time. Yeah, my pleasure. Thanks for stopping by. Yeah, no doubt. Dead man off road. Check them out. All right, I'm here with uh, with Mike from Factor 55. How's it going, man? How's your expo been so far? It's, you know what? It's very busy, and at least today it's not raining. So we're pretty happy to be here at the show. So what are we looking at here? So uh, as you know, we make uh, products that replace the conventional winch hook. Uh, conventional winch hooks always end up like this because they are made out of, the safety class is made out of sheet metal. And when these are under tension and they experience momentary slack. And so uh, we make a product that allows you to eliminate that hook and install a shackle mount product and so at the end of your winch line you're going to have one of our products and you're going to use a very common uh, screw pin shackle and now when you have your winch tackle installed in the shackle this can have tension and slack and tension and slack you can drag this through the rocks but until you loosen the pin you will not lose any of your rigging and so that's what most of these products do they come in various shapes uh, various sizes uh, multiple winch line mounts as well but it's called closed system winching. It's kind of a technique we pioneered and many of the trainers now are teaching closed system winching. So uh, you can visit our website at factor55.com and we have a variety of products that are uh, related to winch safety. Awesome, thank you so much. Hey man, I hope that works for you. <laughs> what was your name again? Andy. Andy, I'm Brandon. Brandon, and who yeah. are you with again? Trailspin TV. Trailspin, okay. Yeah, so we're already rolling, so if you, you kind of wanted to chit chat about what sure. you guys got going on, what you're featuring here today. Yeah. Absolutely. Um, so we've got a whole bunch of stuff here. We've got uh, all, of, all of our uh, kind of our good, better, best scenario on winches. So we've got our VR, which is going to be over here, our Xeon and Xeon Platinum. So what's new, though, however, we've got some new rigging equipment. This is called Sidewinder. So Sidewinder is a hook replacement. So you would take your rope, then we'll put it here, and it has a shackle built onto the end of it. So uh, it's one less thing you have to carry. So you don't have to worry about having an extra shackle. Uh, you've got rubber backing here. It snugs up nicely against your fair lead. So for instance, if you use your fair lead, it snugs up nicely against this here. And one of the nice benefits about this product is if you have this on your winch, you free spool it out, and say you're double lining it with a snatch block, you come right to right to the eyelet on your bumper. No shackle needed. So these are forged 6061 T6 aluminum with a forged steel pin available in black, gunmetal, or polished finishes. 
So in addition to that, the fair lead that I showed you, this is our new Epic Fair Leads. They're available in one inch thickness, like this one, or one and a half inch thickness. They're also available in that, so those same colors, uh, also forged aluminum. So finally, the newest thing in uh, rigging here is what we call Hyperlink. So Hyperlink is a dual pin shackle, it's just a different way to do shackles. So this would hang off the front of your bumper. We offer this isolator, it's polyurethane isolator, so it's not gonna bang against your bumper and, uh, and ruin the finish. So to use this, you would pull the rubber isolator out and you would take your hook and go directly to this. You don't have to pull the, pull the uh, shackle off the vehicle or anything. So you can also nest a, a thimble in here. You can nest a strap in here, whatever you want. So you can see this one's been used. So, but, uh, and then we sell the isolator separately. So in addition, and actually debuting at the show, are a couple of new things. This is this is uh, our soft shackle. This is our Spider Nightline soft shackle and our standard Spider soft shackle. So the neat thing about this Nightline is, and by the way, we are also selling it as a as a replacement rope. You can see the colors black, red, and then the silver, but the silver is actually a reflective tracer built into it. So doing night, night recoveries, you're gonna get great reflection off of this. So it's gonna be uh, easier to find too if it's in the mud, in the dirt, that kind of thing. And then as you saw, we have the soft shackle uh, in the reflective tracer rope as well. So other than showing off our winches and recovery gear, uh, we're showing our, our new winch covers. We've got some new applications for our semi-hidden kits, which uh, provide uh, a winch mount up to 12,000 pounds, maintains the front uh, styling of the vehicle as well. So we're pretty excited. Uh, this is our, I think our seventh or sixth year at Expo and uh, it's a great show. Cool, man, appreciate the time. My pleasure, you bet. Thank you so much. So what's your name? Adam, sorry. That's okay, I'm Brandon. Yeah, Brandon. yeah, so we've had the winches out for a while, but they're a bit your different. We design them all in Australia. Uh, so we do do a little bit different. We we gear the gearing, gearing down a little bit. Um, so we don't make it super fast, but we make it pull. So it, it's built to pull all day, every day, and it'll just keep pulling. The uh, duty cycle's really long. Um, we also have a breather on the motor. So that if it starts getting hot because you're using it a lot, it'll start sucking cool air in. Gotcha. And if you're doing river crossings and a lot of river crossings, you know, like your diff seals, and if it's a hot day and you're going to cold water, it'll, most winches or diffs will suck water in. We've got a breather so it balances that out and it'll suck cold air in and expire hot air. Gotcha. Um, uh, so they are submersible? or Yeah, yeah, they are. We've, we've got a wide, wide remote and a wireless remote. It's the same one, you just plug it in, pull it out, and they've got a uh, any, any camper. A uh, solenoid in there, so no one can come up and play with it or anything like that. Cool. Um, we you guys use do your own toe straps and recovery kits. Yeah, and like that. yeah, we do all our own toe straps, and we've got some new soft shackles and stuff, but the guys didn't get them here in time. Uh, you know, moving on to that more safety style of things. Cool. Yeah. So, how the options do you have? You have twelve thousand pounds. We do a yeah. We do a twelve thousand pounds and a nine and a half in steel and uh, synthetic rope. So it's a synthetic rope from Europe. It's a the Dynamo fibers from the Netherlands, where um, the SK75 ropes made. So yeah, it's a good strong fiber. And you guys go with the house style fair leads instead of the roller fair leads for, yeah. for every setup. Ah uh, no, so if we're on the steel cable, we still use the roller fair leads. Yeah, yeah. All right, well I appreciate your time, Brandon. That was nice. To nice meet to meet you, man. Have a good one. Is it checker flag stuff like this? So we're, we're it's all the same gear. Um, so it's two different brands, but um, but it's so Mike's been in the uh, rigging industry for 29 years. Okay. Um, and so what I did is when I wanted to do the recovery gear uh, for the off-road world, I linked up with the guys who really know what they're doing. So Mike's history is is rigging. Um, Long line stuff, hoisting guys, literally lives hanging from helicopters. Yeah. You know, NASA, the Navy, um, doing all the stuff. So, I, the problem in the off-road world right now is no one's um, controlling it. There's no restrictions. There's no requirements. These guys can literally go in their garage, make up gear, tag it, label it however they want, not test it properly, and go out to the market and put it out there. People who don't know what they're looking for may buy into marketing. For products and end up with gear that's really not what they should have. They look, they should have polyester. They end up with nylon. They're not even properly tagged. So I looked up with Mike and I said, "Let's do a high quality, properly tested, properly rated, full line of recovery gear for the guys that are going off road." Pulling is a lot like lifting a lot of the way. So a lot of the rigs and everything, the testing we do is the same way. Properly tagged so that guys get out there on the trail. They know what they have. 
Coupled with that, what we're doing are training courses so that we can teach people how to buy the proper gear. Right? We're largely not doing the how to use it, we're doing the what it is. So what should you be buying? How do you inspect your current gear that you already have? And when you go to buy, of course we want to sell people gear, but no matter where you buy your gear, we want people to go out there and not get hurt. So we want them to know what is brake strength, what is workload limit, how do we determine those? What to look for on a label? What are the conversions? Polyester versus nylon versus plasma, right? A lot of times we do the courses and we've got people who've been off-roading for years and their eyes get this big because they just learned that they really didn't know what they don't know. And we, what we want to do is give them the knowledge so that when they do go out to buy that gear, they're getting the right stuff. Where do you, get, uh, you do these training classes online or in person? We, we do them in person, events? largely at events. So what we'll do at like at three o'clock here today in about a half an hour, we'll be doing a course right here in Booth where we can get hands on with all of our ropes and straps and that people see in real time, this is what you're looking for. These are the warnings. This is how to inspect. This is, how, this is the lifespan, you know, like a lot of people will wait until the rope or strap breaks until they replace it. And I say treat it like tires. You don't wait till your tires blow to replace them. You look at the wear, you look at, you know, you've got UV, you got cracking, the tread starts to get low, you go, ooh, this isn't safe, I'm gonna replace it. There's the same same program for that for recovery gear. So replace it before it goes. Um, and, and then also what I do is, um, we just launched the, the YouTube channel. And so we'll uh, start to uh, record a lot of these trainings and put them online for the people that aren't out here in person. And I give people my direct line when we're out here at the courses. I say, here's my direct line, nights and weekends, I don't care when it is, call me. If you got a question on gear, even if you're not buying gear from me, I don't care. If you're buying gear somewhere else, but you still need help, I want to make sure that you have the tools and the knowledge so that you get the proper gear so that when you go out there, you're not going to get hurt. Yeah, that's great. So let's kind of talk about what you guys are doing. Cool. So, um, as I said, you know, the labeling is a big part of our program. And you see here we've got polyester. This is an anchor strap. A lot of people will call this a tree strap. The, the proper term in our world is an anchor strap because it's not just for a tree. It's basically whatever it can wrap around. You can go around a rock, you can go around a, a pole or whatever's out there if you're by yourself and you're winching. So polyester is, is very limited stretch. So a slow controlled recovery, a lot of times usually with winching, you're going to be using polyester. And so what we do is we try to make uh, gear as much as we can multi-use. Okay. So you may hook your winch up to a, a tree. You need to get a tree strap around it. This works perfect. We do it two ply so that um, your your rating is there. You can also use it as a winch extension because it's polyester winching, no stretch, right? Um, we also have a four foot anchor strap, which is basically like a very short tree strap. This can wrap around a, a roll bar, a rock slider, um, your axle. If you're caught, you're sliding off a hill, a lot of times guys will just wrap this around something real quick to prevent it from sliding out. It's, it's kind of just like a, a good multi-use tool. As we come down the racks here and you see uh, uh, the yellow and orange, these are gonna be recovery straps. So nylon, stretch, kinetic recovery, rig to rig. Winching, slow and controlled, <laughs> polyester, nylon, a little bit of stretch, rig to rig. Um, moving down one shelf, green, this is a winch extension. So you uh, spool out your winch line and you're not quite long enough to get to that tree or that rock or that next rig. Um, winch line extension in polyester. Also plasma, plasma rope. So if you feel that, right, you can kind of, it's lightweight, right? Yeah, wow. Um, and here's a, a three inch two ply polyester, hold that. It's side by side, right? So this one kind of gives you that uh, where the, the plasma, you can you can toss it around. Yeah. Advantages of plasma, lightweight, right? Um, stronger than steel. And when you say plasma, what exactly? So is plasma, plasma rope is uh, it's UHMPE. Um, so that's uh, plasma is the name that's um, applied to this um, raw material. So the, the company Cortland takes the uh, the raw material and they have a patented process. It's a re-crystallization process of, so they process the raw material. Um, it's basically done with heat and stretch. Okay. Um, and when that's done, it it's makes it a stronger, it takes that raw material, makes it stronger. The name that they've given it is plasma rope. So plasma is not the material, UHMPE is the material, and the proprietary name that they gave their product is plasma. Stronger than steel. When I first saw this, you know, I saw it in, in this form. This is also plasma rope. And I said, you want me to give up my steel shackle for, mm -hmm. you know, for this rope? No way, you're crazy. And then you kind of see an action and you realize like this stuff works. 
So your steel shackle, your Van B stream pin, great product. Still plenty of good uses for that, but feel that. Yeah, what's so good? What's you know, a, a lot like our, our, our um, webbing extension here, super heavy, right? Versus the plasma, same thing here, steel shackle, mm -hmm. plasma shackle. Um, advantages, lightweight, you could fit a lot more in it. So as you start breaking your big ends, you could fit more in there. But um, doesn't do good with sharp edges, right? So if you have a sharp edge and you use this, you end up cutting this. Steel shackles again, sometimes steel shackles. When possible, plasma, right? A lot more expensive. So you got, you know, you gotta look at your price point where this may cost you three or 400 bucks for a winch extension. In plasma, this may, you know, this may cost you 90, 100 bucks. You're looking at 12 bucks or $120. So we encourage people not to shop and look for recover, recovery gear based on pricing. Um, sometimes if you're looking, if you're gonna get plasma or a premium recovery product, you're gonna pay for it. Um, if, you're, if you're shopping by price, you still wanna get quality. You wanna make sure it's properly labeled, properly rated, proper material. Um, you can get lower price, but still high quality, properly rated gear. So he yeah. was kind of giving me the idea of what we're looking at here, but he said you're the you're the well the man. Oh, <laughs> he's stop, crazy. This stop. is this is Mike. He's the man. No, so he, he's the he's, man. <laughs> I just know it. Oh, you guys are cute. Yeah. So right, yeah. So, so what we should jump into here? We've already gone through the uh, the recovery straps, which is webbing, and what we've got here are now our kinetic recovery ropes. So Mike can. Uh, Yep. So, that. Yeah, so two different technologies. Uh, whenever we talk kinetic, we're talking a rope with a lot of elongation. That that massive elongation helps the recovery effort. So by the rope stretching, it then recovers at a, at a quicker rate, kinetic energy, right? So in a kinetic rope, there's two different types of technologies. This is a type of technology called 12 strand. 12 strand is very superior for the reason of easy splicing. Also very superior for inspectability. You can see the rope structure, you can open it up, you can inspect it, you can see what's going on deep inside the rope. The quality of the rope is what depicts a rope that's gonna, gonna take a lick and, and, and keep working for you, right? If you open these rope structures up, you see dirt, grit, and grime, uh, rock structure, down inside that rope's going to start to break down break down break down so back to inspectability and ease of splice we simply uh, tuck the, the rope material in a certain number of fid tucks and boom away we go with the product it's all finalized with a lock stitching that's put in on quadrants that lock stitching helps that splice to not separate now if this lock stitching fails, that's a sign of premature splice slippage. So this is an inspection feature that you're looking at before you use your recovery product to ensure that that lock stitching is intact in those four quadrants. So that's what's called a 12 strand single braid. Easy to splice, great price point because it's easy to splice and easy to make. You then go to a double braid technology. The double braid technology uh, is is highly uh, used in the marine industry uh, for uh, for yacht type application, marine type application, where it's constantly running in pulleys and shivs, high wear. Uh, in this uh, technology, you have a core. That core of the rope uh, is a 12 strand core and then the rope company uh, braids on an outer sheath, a protecting sheath, does multiple things for you. Protects from abrasion, also protects the core from UV ultraviolet, ultraviolet light degradation. Uh, UVA, UVB rays will in five years totally degrade any nylon product. So to have a double braid product with an inner core that's protected by an outer sheath is far superior. Now that outer core is also protecting from abrasion like we talked about over those pulleys and shivs, so just far superior. So at the end of the day, great price point, easeability, gets the job done, inspectability, different inspection criteria because now that core is inside the cover, right? So you, you're inspecting for rope anomalies because you can't really get into the rope structure. So different inspection criteria, but far superior from a, an abrasion in the UV perspective. So those are the two different types. Obviously, because that outer sheath is woven over that core rope, it's a much higher price point, uh, but also much more durable. So those are the two technologies. So when we talk about kinetic recovery stuff, um, and I've heard the term snatch strap, or we, or, uh -huh. or we, this. I've heard that once you use it once or twice, you should get rid of it. Now, 
are there things specifically you should be looking for besides rocks inside here? Is there something we should look for here to tell that it's starting to break down? Or yes, so we're we're in a double braid world, we're looking for anomalies within that rope structure. So you're using two senses. You're using your tactile and you're using visual. You want to look over your rope uh, with your hand. You want to work it with your hand, foot by foot, and then you're also wanting to pick up any visual indicators. You're going to pick up things visually that you won't pick up tactily, tactily that you won't pick up visually. So you want to use both of those senses when inspecting your rope. With a double braid rope, again, we're looking for anomalies. We're looking for thin areas and thick areas through the body of the rope. What happens is when this rope fails, the core will pop, the core shoots to one connection point and causes an anomaly on the opposite end of the rope. So there we're, we're looking for uniformity through the body of the rope. Here, when the rope breaks, you might get one strand or two that was potentially damaged. Those strands might prematurely fail. If not, you will get just a straight catastrophic failure. So in a case of UV ultraviolet light degradation where this has been exposed to UVA, UVB, it could just catastrophically fail with zero warning. And that's why inspection criteria is so important. We're looking for visual indications of ultraviolet light. We're looking for visual indicators of heavy abrasion. We're looking for cutting of strands. All of those are indications and removal from service criteria. Awesome, man. And there's, there's one more part of that. If you've been told that a person is going to use this rope one time and then it's done. Um, there, there are two important ratings on this. You've got break strength and workload limit. Um, break strength being what this rope is is uh, built to to actually break at. You're never going to want to work that rope when you're using it to that. We do a workload um, on that that is meant to be used um, over and over and over again. If you were out, like let's say you had a really heavy rig and uh, no one had recovery gear and a small rig came along with a rope with a very low um, low rating onto it and you that's all you had to get recovered. So your life could be on the line. You're gonna go ahead and use that rope but you might exceed what it was built to be for. That's a rope that after maybe one use you would want to retire because you worked that rope way beyond what it was meant to be worked at. If you're buying gear that's properly rated for your rig and you inspect it and it's in, it's in good quality, then that rope can be used multiple times. So that's a, a real important part of knowing what you have, how old is your gear. Ratings are for brand new ropes, right? So all the tags that you see in our gear and all the ropes out here, that's brand new, not used. As soon as you go get, put that rope out, start using it, start yanking on it, UV, it gets wet, it gets dirt, those ratings are all going to, all going to, to drop in time, right? So it's important knowing what you have, um, inspecting it, knowing what the ratings are, and using uh, ropes and traps and gear that's properly rated for your rig. You should never have a case where you buy gear that's meant to be used one time. If that's the case, you bought the wrong gear. Got you. Cool, man. Thank you so much. Thank you, gentlemen. Thank you. Thank you. Enjoy the rest of Expo. All right, guys. How are you, John? Uh, we've got a new line of Extreme Series. This is our KX version. Uh, they all come in a 9,500 pound uh, um, uh, retrieve. We've got one with a wireless remote included right inside the housing right here. So you have no module to deal with or anything like that. Flip the switch on the side, turn your fobs on, your wireless is activated, ready to go. Uh, three of the units also have a built-in LED work light on the front of it. So if you're outside nighttime working, rigging up your gear, you've got a little uh, additional uh, like to illuminate your uh, your surroundings. We have it in a synthetic version. We have it in a high speed or high re fast retrieve uh, metal version, and then we also have it in a standard 9,500 pound version. Yeah. All weather finish on it, so it's very durable. Matches a lot of the bumpers that are out in the market uh, right now. We also do another version, which is our we call our brick version which is a little bit more durable, a little bit more old school. Uh, this will not have the LED light, but it also has the wireless remote module in, in housed inside of the top right here. All five miles will also come with a handheld version. Um, so if you lose your wireless, batteries run low, anything like that, we've got a handheld version with an LED light on it. You power in, power out, all included with it. That's cool. So these are basically, take them out of the box, four bolts to mount, Two wires to hook up to the battery, you're set to go. So very simple, very easy. All with the simple, uh, the basic universal 10-4 bolt pop pattern. So anybody's bumper that you're gonna use, they'll bump uh, a bolt right up to it. Gotcha. Now when you say, you keep saying high speed, what, what is that now? Is this high speed compared to competitors or high speed compared to a normal? Yeah, these are like a no load, high speed. So um, uh, that particular unit right there is a 
uh, 36 feet per minute compared to about 24 feet gotcha. per minute. Gotcha. So, you know, after you've done a recovery, you've got a lot of line out there, last thing you want to do is sit there, wait for it to come in, and so a high-speed retrieve will just bring it in a little bit faster, get you back on the trail and, and rock and roll a little and bit these, faster. And uh, these are, are some covers for the LED yep. light? Yep, it's and cover those, removable. That comes with it? Yep, that comes with it, removable cover right off the front. Um, some areas, especially we sell up in Canada also, uh, you can only have a certain amount of clear forward-facing lights. So we have a cover that's included with them also to make sure that they're all compliant with that. What are you looking like price-wise for something like the new one with the, the LED and the wireless uh, steel high speed? Um, steel, you know, those are going to go, well, we got some specials on them right now in the $600 range, delivered right to your door. Wow. Um, so yeah, six to $700 is the range that you're going to find it uh, with the new Extreme Series right here. Cool. And you guys do other uh, 12,000 pound or 15,000 pounds? Yeah, pound we'll go up to a 17,500 is the biggest that we have. Um, we're actually doing a, a little uh, little test market right here. Um, in the past, this is, this is our workhorse series, our KW series. That starts at a 75 to a 95, and a 13.5, and then a 17.5. Um, because of this market and the, uh, the type of clientele you have with the bigger rigs, um, you know, your half tons, three quarter tons, big stuff like that. More and more need is coming with the 17.5s and 13.5s. So we built a couple here with the synthetic rope on it. Just a little test market, prototypes, uh, see what kind of reaction we get. So far it's been very, very positive, very exciting. So. Same, same bolt up pattern as a standard winch? Same bolt up pattern, yep. And our, our workhorse series will come with a wireless remote also. Um, not built in. We'll have a module that will plug right into the end of it. And then you get your fobs. And you just Pull it down for five seconds, power it on, you're set to go. Cool. Power in, power out, no problem. They'll shut off after 10 minutes so you don't wear your battery out. Uh, you don't have to remember to shut them off eventually. <laughs> um, so yes, it's been very, very popular. We're very excited about it. Uh, we do have our Venture Series, which is going to go to an 8.5 and a 10.5, which also are available in either synthetic or wire rope too. Cool, man. So, Thank you so much for your time. Cameron. Cameron. Brandon. Nice to meet you, man. So we're hanging out with uh, Cameron from Weston, and um, they're going to kind of talk to us a little bit about, uh, well, they're new. They just acquired Super Winch. Yes. So we're going to talk about the one he's got on his Jeep and another cool product they got that they just released. So let's go. Let's yeah, guys. So about a month ago, Weston actually acquired Super Winch. Um, so we're going to be rebranding it, you know, kind of building the name back up. And uh, the products that we have to offer are really all they've had for quite some time. Um, so on the front of my Jeep, we've got the Tiger Shark. It's a 9500 winch, comes in either steel or synthetic. On mine, I've got synthetic on here. Um, Dyneema rope, so it's great rope as far as if you're going synthetic. Cool feature about the synthetic one is, is we've actually moved the brake to the planetary gear set, so it's got a disc brake. Doesn't get any heat into the rope, so that keeps the rope strong. Heat's really the biggest factor of weakening synthetic rope, so if we can keep the heat away from that, it's better. Um, and yeah, basically it comes in steel synthetic, and this goes all the way up to 15.5 as far as pulling strength. So we've got something for everybody. Cool. What's the 9500 run at? So uh, as far as price point, um, you know what? We actually kind of haven't finalized pricing, so give us about another two, one, two weeks, and we'll get pricing and everything ready to go. Yeah. Cool, yeah, you guys just acquired Super Winch like a week ago, right? Literally, so um, about a month uh, since, uh, since the ink dried on the paperwork. So <laughs> cool, cool. we've been moving all the uh, equipment down from Portland down to Southern California, which is where it'll be manufactured now, so. Cool. What's this other thing we got over here? So the other one we got is actually our winch to go. It's a uh, 4,000 pull strength, um, basically a winch in a box. <laughs> um, comes with all the accessories you'll need to use it, um, hooks, uh, shackles, all that kind of good stuff. Basically here it is right here. So you've got you know, your hooks, everything you need to basically pull you out of a situation. Um, cool thing about these is, is with the plate on the bottom, you can really mount it anywhere. You can kind of mount it around a tree if you got a good strap, um, to a bumper, to a receiver. Um, the winch is kept all inside there. Um, okay. Like I said, 4,000 4, pound pull strength, so it's really great for utility people. Um, you know, you're out in a field working some stuff, or if you need to, you know, pull a vehicle onto a trailer or something like that, or just to toss in the back of your truck just as an in-case thing. So um, as long as you got a good source of power, you can hook it up to a battery, um, anything like that, it'll run for you. Awesome, man. Oh, yes, sir. Good luck with the- uh, Awesome, man, thank you. Yeah, it should be good for us. Yeah. So we're, we're, we're pretty excited about, you know, acquiring the company, so. It'll, right. It should be good. <laughs> cool, man. Well, I appreciate your time. Not Enjoy problem, the rest man. of Expo. Have Thank a good you, one. Brother. So that's pretty much it for today, man. Oh, did a lot of walking. Talked to a lot of people. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Gonna head back to camp and uh, rest a little bit and then probably head back into the Expo. 
some of the vendors do some after parties and stuff like that, but we're gonna keep that off camera, you know what I mean? If you like the video, please click subscribe, click that thumbs up, click that notification bell. We're gonna be uploading videos day of this whole weekend and uh, hopefully add some more videos too when I get back home. Thank you guys for watching. See you tomorrow. Peace.